Is this a, uh, florist? Yes. Okay, bye. Good morning. A dirty snap dragon, please. A what? A dirty snap dragon. Well, these are our snap dragons, but they're very clean. Why would you want a dirty one? Is this a wind-up? I don't know, is it? Oh, so, you're the new owner. Yeah, that's me. We had these at my husband's funeral. Oh, I'm so sorry. It gets easier. I learned to drive. And who does her own accounts now? It's me, it's Maudine. Oh, it's funny, isn't it? How good... Still, 52 years, though. So not a bad innings. Mm. You know the secret of love. I wish I did. Sex, three times a week. And why not just take some photographs? You'll miss him when he's gone. I'll just take this. Hey, that's on me. Well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A French lavender, please. Certainly, we've got this lavender. This is French lavender. No. A French lavender, please. Yeah, this is our lavender and it's French lavender. Do I have to spell it out for you? A French lavender up my ass. Sorry, what? Where am I losing you? French lavender is code for finger, and ass is code for ass. I'd like a woman to stick her finger up my ass. We've changed management. Oh, yeah. 12, 12 white roses for the wife. Just well, Ernie did. Alice lost him two weeks ago. I have had three funerals in as many weeks. Men, it's always the men. God. Sorry, 
rather lost my nerve the first time. Silly, really. Just to say that we do don't you have, have, please, an old rose? There she is. Hadn't expected such a quick arrival. You are beautiful. Why don't you two go on a date? Oh, I hadn't realised that was the protocol, but... Emily, he will want to go on a date with me. I'm 78. I'd bloody love to. Oh, well. In that case. <laughs> uh, Maureen, what about the funeral? Hi. Hi, I'm not stalking you. No. I just, uh, <laughs> I have to work this way to, I mean, walk this way to work, so. It's... No, that's cool. You gotta stalk this way. I need to get a pen. Um. Remember that psychic at the town hall? She said we get part-time work. Maybe she was right. It's a good business model, Emily. I made £200 the other night. That was supposed to be a date. So? Look. You provide the premises, we'll provide the nectar. We're a niche market. So are Crocs, and they've really taken off. Crocs? The shoes. Crocs? Yeah, I know what Crocs are, and they're disgusting. Come on, Emily. What do you see? No! Absolutely no! Is it a space or something? No, it's a herb, I think. Just add it to the dish. Saw Mary Berry do it. A selection of lovely ladies for you. Oh, that one. Go for it, girl. It was oregano. <laughs> Who wants tea and muffins? They're naughty but nice. Oh, yes, I'm parched. Mm, yeah. Oh, yes, and one for Patrick. <laughs> You've been a naughty, naughty. Boy. Ow. My grandson made it. Took him five minutes, he said. <laughs> it's you. Ah, it is me. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Flowers? Flowers? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so, I mean, is it, is it like a waste of time for a guy to get you flowers? Or... Well, I'd be livid if they got them from the competitor. Sure. So you'd have to buy them from me. Yeah. And then give them back to me. That's how I make a profit. So if you want to buy any flowers. Yeah, no, I, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will. Yeah, I yeah. will buy some flowers. Um, I did come in with a different purpose. OK. Uh, I was hoping to maybe ask you out. But you can totally say no if you want. Great. I mean, of course you can. Yeah. That, that, that is basic human rights. Thank you. No worries. I've got my own business card with my mobile telephone number on. That would be optimum. Oh, so just... that's me on there. And then you can call me with your mobile telephone number. I will. <laughs> Thank you. And I will buy some flowers. Great. Uh, I would like to buy one woolly time. My friend Pete said to get one. 
A woolly time. You know what a woolly time is? Oh, yes. Yeah, and you want a woolly time. Huh? I know I look like a square, but uh, I'll have a good time. <laughs> A woolly time for you. A woolly time. Going to be a little judgment, Jerry. It's not him, it's me. I wanted to make the world a nicer place and I failed. I failed at everything. No, I need to shut this place down. You're a judgmental, Jerry. <laughs> what you are running is a brothel. Emily says we could call it a dream factory. Think about it. She's employing older women and no one does that. So actually, it's very progressive. Listen, I was the real brains behind the operation. Emily took a lot of persuading. We are having the time of our lives. Yeah, but is she? If you want to shut us down, then you should. I like having you here. And we like being here. We're providing a loving service. A lot of these men just want to be held. And I was doing some thinking. I don't want to shut down just because of some stupid guy. So we're not shutting down. We're not shutting down. Uh, don't shut down. You don't have to shut down. I'm not shutting down. Oh, good. And not because of you. Oh. I mean, OK, this wasn't my dream, but we're happy here. I'm sorry. I was a judgment, Jerry. So you've come back to sample some of our ladies, have you? Yeah. You. Oh, no. 